Donald Trump continues to pretend that he won the election. Yeah, he's crazy. Kaylee McEnany's been out making the rounds trying to defend her supreme leader. She went on Fox and Friends and assured the world that Donald Trump has been hard at work. Donald Trump has never been hard at work. He's hard work though, he's impossible to deal with. Dr. Fauci said that he has a negative attention span. You know how bad that is? All Donald Trump likes to do is golf. Golf, 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 golf. That's all he does. Donald Trump plays golf so much that he thinks getting the lowest score in the election means he won. I got the smallest number, that's good, right? The number's lower, so it's good. Donald Trump always on the golf course instead of working on a stimulus package or helping with coronavirus reminds me of the 90s when OJ Simpson was always on the golf course after he vowed to hunt for the real killers. Now come January, it's going to be the television event of the century when Donald Trump is removed from the White House by the Secret Service. It's going to be so exciting and a lot of people are talking about what is he going to do after when he's finally ripped out of that place. There's been talk of a podcast or like a satellite radio show and I don't buy it at all. Donald Trump needs to be in front of people, not on the airwaves. He needs to be in front of people. He needs to be seen. So this is what I'm suggesting. I think Donald Trump should do a MAGA cruise. A huge MAGA cruise, like the biggest cruise of all time, hosted by Donald Trump. Big set sail on the sea, and we'll cram all the MAGA people on there, all the Proud Boys, all the Vanilla Isis, all the Trumpers. Everyone gets on there. They'll love it. There's going to be so many freedoms on this boat. No masks, no vaccines, bring your guns, fuck your cousins, no lifeboats because they're for pussies. Uh, camouflage, mandatory. Mandatory camouflage, no, no captain is going to have Jesus take the wheel. There's going to be entertainment. You can get Smash Mouth. You can do, get a little theater going with uh, Kevin Sorbo and Scott Baio. Tiffany can sing like a bird. Dana White can come and just do steroids in front of everyone like, yeah, roids. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be like below deck, but with no good looking people. And they're all going to get sick and die. The boat's going to sink. It's full Christmas already. The big Rockefeller Center tree went up today and it looks like absolute dog shit. It looks like uh, Melania Trump was involved because we've seen her work in the Rose Garden and we know that she doesn't give a shit about Christmas decorations. So this crappy tree, I'm calling the Melania tree. Despite what the fake news says, I've not been hiding or laying low, no laying, no getting laid. Melania likes me as much as she likes Christmas. Have you seen the tree? It has less on than her modeling pictures. This week, Ivanka Trump has been pushing everyone to join Parler. Parler, the social media echo chamber for conservative douchebags. It's liked by people like Gavin McInnes, the head of the Proud Boys, Sean Hannity, Katie Hopkins, Devin Nunes, and Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz, the only Canadian creation worse than Nickelback. Yeah. Ted doesn't want people to know. He thinks he's some sort of American superhero. He was born and raised in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Yeah. I just think it's really funny that the party that goes on about snowflakes and safe spaces is trying to do everything they can to get all their fans away from Twitter and onto their safe space. Parlor. Mega tears. Parlor is super popular with conservatives who allege Twitter has been biased against them when flagging misinformation. Mega tears. Twitter doesn't like it when I make false claims about the election. Mega tears. Twitter doesn't like it when I make false claims about vaccines. Mega tears. Parlor is being funded by Robert Mercer and his daughter Rebecca Mercer. The family is well known to invest in conservative causes, including political campaigns, Steve Bannon, Breitbart. But most importantly, they were the principal investor in Cambridge Analytica, a consultancy that shut in 2018 after they were caught in the Facebook data harvesting scandal. The Facebook data harvesting scandal. Now the thing is, to sign up for Parler, you're supposed to scan your government ID and hand it over to them, and they say this is to verify everyone and prevent having trolls. So all these MAGA people that love their freedoms, are rushing to go on this platform, scanning their ID and handing over to the same people that did the data harvesting. Yeah, how dumb are you? Also in the Trump family, it came out that Tiffany had released a song called Like a Bird. Yeah, here's the uh, image. I can't play this song because I don't want to damage your ears and be sued. <laughs> but I, I just think it's hilarious that Tiffany has this, uh, this bit of music and her brother released a book this week called Liberal Privilege. Liberal Privilege. Uh, Dad, can I have some money? Because I want to uh, 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 get someone to write some music and make some music for me and put it on, on the internet for everyone. 
Uh, Dad, um, can I have some money? I want to write another book. Well, I don't want to write one. I just want to get someone to write it for me. And then I'm going to call it liberal privilege. And you can give me all the money. And we'll have a ghostwriter. It'll be amazing. Yeah, that's their family. They're dicks. They're all dicks. How much is China paying you? It's mega tears. All Democrats won was a fraudulent election. Congrats, LMFAO. Deep down, everyone knows Trump won. <laughs> Mega tears. Don't forget Pizzagate, Epstein documents, Hunter Biden's laptop, Adrenochrome. Mega tears. Bozo the clown makes videos now. Mega tears. You should move to China, see how you like it. Mega tears. You're an idiot, go grab some BLM protesters and march on. Mega tears. There are gonna be some mega tears coming out of my eyes after laughing my ass off when Trump factually proves Biden lost when only legal votes are counted. MAGA tears. Thanks for watching. My name's Tommy Campbell. If you've enjoyed this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can find out about all my latest content. I'm a comedian. I'm also on Spotify. If you're there, I have three stand-up albums. You can stream them for free. If you're out, please wear a mask. Help stop the spread. Be kind to each other. Have an awesome day.